Hey guys, it's Jan's Crazy Life. So just jumping on here to do a quick project share. So what I did was um, the back of, I finished a one stack paper pad, a one pro, so the whole 12 by 12, and I used the back of the paper pad to make tags. And I just basically, let me kind of show you on the back of this, even though it's cut out, don't mind that. So what I did is I just measured, so I put little marks down at the bottom. Let me zoom out, guys. So say for instance, so I just measured out how big I wanted my tags to be, and I decided that they were gonna be two and a half inches. And so what I did is I just took my ruler and I would go, here's one, here's, and then I would do two and a half. And then I would go two and a half, and then I went two and a half, and then two and a half, and then there's your the end, right? And then this one's not two and a half. Hold on. This one would be here. Would be, hold on. One, two, that is two and a half. Okay. So then I flipped it over and did the exact same thing. So then I just drew lines because this is kind of big and I don't like to use that kind of paper in my trimmer because it'll cause my blade to go dull. So what I did is I just would like measure it out, draw lines down, and then on this side, I just, on this side, what I did was I just measured how wide I wanted, which I did half, so I did at six, which I ended up cutting them down because six was, but then I just measured and I drew a line like this and cut them all out. So that way they were all cut out and how I made this part was, let me kind of show you. So I'm gonna cut one out really quick just to show you how I did. So say for instance, you did all that I just told you, right? So how I cut the tops off so they're even is, and let me, this is probably not gonna be the evenest because I'm just eyeballing it. So say for instance, this is your tag. So I cut out my tag with some scissors and these are the ones I get from Dollar Tree. These are great for cutting the most random stuff and it cuts through stuff. So after I got my tag cut out the way I wanted it, what I did is I just measured down one inch. So if you guys, let me zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. I just measured down one inch. And then on the other side, I did one inch down. And then at the top, I measured in Am I, let me make sure it's on. Okay, so at the top, I measured in a half of inch. So from the end, I just made a little dot and then the same thing over here is I just measured in a half of inch. So what I did is I just took that dot to that dot, if that makes sense. And so that way they're both kind of even. I drew a line and then the same thing over here, draw a line, doesn't have to be perfect, and then cut off the line. And that's how I made my base for my tag. So let me show you what I created. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. So in a 12 by 12, that left me with, I think it was six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so ten. So the first one is this one, and I put some flatback pearls. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see. So there's this little pocket with another little pocket, and there's these little um, cut-aparts in here. How adorable is that? and the person can use it however they want and it actually closes like a little envelope and then the next one i did and then i you can probably put this all in a flip like a little so cute so then there's this one it just says a perfect day with this cute mason jar with that cute tim holtz paper in the back that's prima paper on the other one and then there's this one 
And this one I love kind of plain, but I like the idea. I put those little numbers all around that I punched out, and I think they're so cute. And then there is this one. This one just says memories. It's got some flat back pearls and the paper. And I'm going to doodle on the rest of these. I haven't finished doing that, but I'm going to doodle all around it. But then there's this one. And then there is this one. And then there's that one. So stinking cute. There's this one. And then here's another one where I made a little pocket and it's got the little thing. And this one, the thing's kind of bigger, but how cute is that? And then there is that one. So that is my tags that I made. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to show how I cut them out of the back of a paper pad. Or if you have chipboard, this would work the same if you have a chipboard piece. That is the mail lady. So I'm probably gonna go get the mail. But I'm always scared to open the door. I'm waiting for them to leave because I don't like to open the door when I'm home by myself because you all never know. Nowadays, it's scary, right? All right, so here are the tags that I made. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already because the best is yet to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. to express yourself in your